you know, the most important thing that I find that I look for when I'm looking for a stunt driver is the ability to take direction um, and listen to the um, listen to the critiques that we're giving them and make those changes accordingly. Uh, you know, a lot of guys come from race backgrounds or you know rally driving and things like that, and they kind of already know how to do these things. So what you've sometimes got to do is break those bad habits and then teach them how to do, uh, do the manoeuvres the, the way that we do them. And uh, so yeah, m mostly I look for someone that can take direction and make those changes because even if they can do a manoeuvre a certain way, we need them to do it a consistent way that everyone else in the show does it so that if we do three things together, they all look the same. Um, so yeah, that's, that's probably the biggest thing that we're looking for, is being able to, to listen, take direction, be a team player. Um, you know, when we do the driving in the, in the shows, there's a difference between going out and driving your own show, doing your own thing, compared to driving with three or four other drivers and making that all look the same and all look precision. Um, so that's, that's the most important thing. So what we'll do is we'll take, take the training back to a basic level and, and teach all the guys the, the each particular manoeuvre and getting them doing it the same so that when we do it in the show, it all looks the same. Uh, so yeah, we'll teach them all that and then uh, basically it's going to be giving them as much time in the car as we can give them. Um, and so by the time that we end up putting our first show on, uh, the guys have worked together for a long time, they've had a lot of uh, driving time and, and the show will look very tight and in unison and together. Yeah, look, uh, it, it depends on the person that you're, that you're teaching and that's why we go back to, we look for people who can take direction and take notes uh, because people that can do that, we can train quicker. If they start doing the things that we ask them to do and making those changes, then I can teach them a lot quicker than someone that's not listening and not changing and we, we sort of get stuck on, on those things. So it kind of depends on the person and how, how well they can, um, they can take that direction. Uh, but you know, usually uh, a couple of months, you know, we've allocated ourselves four months to, to train these people and I think that's gonna be more than enough. So by the time we're, you know, in the last month of, uh, of training, we're just, we're just tightening everything up and, you know, making it look world class.